As your project grows and changes, you can expand your worksheet. Let's start by adding more columns to the table. Click in the column next to the table and start typing. Then press Enter. Let's also add a column for Contact. This time instead of pressing Enter, press Tab to move to the right. Then we can add Bid, Deadline, and Actual Cost columns. Now let's change the column widths so that we can see all the headings. This time, just double click to adjust the widths automatically. What about adding more rows? No problem. Here's another way to expand a table. Just drag this little green handle in the lower right. Then type your data. Now let's enter some data in the new columns. We don't have everything yet, but we can enter what we do have. Next, select the bid column and format it as currency. Then click the total row, click the arrow next to the cell, and select Sum. How about a title? We'll call this worksheet Store Expansion. Now we can format the text to look more like a title by using the mini toolbar to make it bold, and increase the size, and change the color. A faster way though is to go to the ribbon and use a cell style, because you can apply a number of formatting options with one click. When you see one you like, click it. Here are some things you should know when you want to update your data. To change the cell completely, click it and retype the data. If you don't want to retype everything, double click the cell and then click to move the cursor to the part you want to change. You can also click in the formula bar to change a cell. You saw how to add a column or row to the outside of the table, but what if you want to add one to the middle? Click a table header, then go to the Home tab, and click the arrow under Insert. We could insert a row or a column to the entire worksheet. However, we only want to add a column in our table to the left of our selection. To delete a column, select the header, then click Delete, and Delete Table Columns. You can do the same thing with rows. Select a cell in the row, insert a table row, or delete a table row. What about copying, cutting, and pasting? Well, it works the same in Excel as it does in other programs. Select the data you want to copy or cut, go to the clipboard group on the Home tab, and click the command. Then click where you want to paste the data, and click Paste. Here's one last thing you might want to do. Move a column or row. It's a little tricky because you have to position the cursor just right for it to work. First, select just the table header. Now move the mouse slowly over the bottom border of the header until you see a four-headed cursor. Then click and drag it to the left. You should see a thick I-beam cursor. Drag the cursor to the point where you want to move the column, and then release the mouse button. And of course you can do the same thing with rows. Click when you see the arrow to select the table row, move the mouse over a border until you see a four-headed arrow, and then drag the I-beam to the point where you want to move the row. 